So, Ben and I had just spent the last few days on board a cruise ship called the MSC Magnifica. We had just spent a day exploring the city of Barcelona before heading down to Malaga and Granada, where we got to film a traditional flamenco dance. It was now time for our last stop in Europe. Madeira, where we would spend one day before venturing across the North Atlantic Ocean, where we would end our journey in St. Martin in the Caribbean. This was Joao. He was from Madeira and showing us around the island. I am a person who loves to contact people and I like very much to show Madeira. It's a beautiful island, very peaceful. Uh, Funchal is clean, is safe and you eat well, but if you live in an island, you have always a need to go out. So in the last week and a bit, we'd been to about eight cities, towns, provinces, and we were starting to get confused of exactly where, where we at? were in the world. We are in Madrid, Portugal. Madrid. Madrid. Futchal. What? This is not Madrid. Where are we? Futchal. We're in Futchal, Portugal. <laughs> I love that! <laughs> so we're heading towards a fish market to have a look at this fish that we just ate for lunch. It's called the black scabbard fish and it lives between 100 to 500 meters in the depths of the ocean. They were gross looking, but they tasted delicious in a sandwich. What do you think of that? I think that's a... we ate that. <laughs> I didn't know that's what it looked like. <laughs> After the market, we sat at a local cafe. Joa taught us more about Madeira, and we taught him a thing or two about Australia. Kangaroos are a pet. It was then time to say goodbye to Joa. We then continued to explore Funchal with the little time we had left here. It was then time to spend five days at sea, crossing the North Atlantic Ocean. Whilst we were getting a bit delirious being out at sea for so long, MSC made sure they kept us busy. Okay, crazy thing today, we have to become bartenders for about an hour. So um, I've never done any bartending before in my entire life. I'm probably gonna break something, who knows. Jamie's doing it too with me as well. He's just getting ready there. He's... How do I look? You look like a... Bartender? I think so. You ready to be a bartender, Jamie? Absolutely not. But we're gonna do it anyway. Well, the mm, cool. So cool, so cool. Yeah. 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 It's coming, it's coming. Give me 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. The sugar and you mutter. Okay. Mutter? After it's poured in, then we top it in soda water. Take seven. I got this. Amazing. All right. One lime leaf. Full ones like that. Yeah, I'll put it. a little bit extra because yeah. I did three in a little bit. Much sweeter that way. One more to go. And then boom. Yeah. A little floating for me. I don't think they're applauding you. They are, they're applauding me, they're cheering now. Uh, hey, look at this happy chap, getting free drinks. Have chap, have chap. What do you think of the mojito? Amazing. Amazing? Yeah. I mean, how was your first time bartending? Amazing. Yeah, I didn't screw it up. So that's good. How's it taste though? I don't know if it tastes good. I taste it. Yeah. Tastes like mojito, really? Uh, yeah. You know why? I pulverize the shit out of those limes. Okay. Juice them. That's 
secret. So as you can tell, my bartending career was relatively short, but that was okay because we soon found ourselves arriving in St. Martin. So it is 7 a.m. and it is our final day on the MSC Magnifica. It's been an amazing journey. Behind me is St. Philipsburg, where we are docking and disembarking at St. Martin. Um, in the Caribbean. So me and Ben are really excited because we've never been to the Caribbean before. We spend a night here, two days, one and a half-ish days. This is where the journey comes to an end. Then we fly all the way back to Melbourne. Yeah, that's what's going down today. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so we are in St. Martin and the hot just... The heat? <laughs> The, the heat, hot, the, the heat, heat just got heat to Ben's head. We're going on a catam catamaran. Yeah, a catamaran, catamaran right? Yeah. Traditional Saint Martinian thing. Saint Martinian. <laughs> Is this where martinis come from? <laughs> so after five days at sea, you could tell we were a bit out of it. We were pretty excited to set foot on land again, even if it only was for a few minutes. Our first stop for this afternoon is our snorkel stop. It's five minutes from here, so if you do need to change into your bathing suit, please do so as soon as possible. That way, as we get you there, we can get you into the water. It's a definite slip, slop, slap kind of day. The sun is so hot. We might be Australian, but we still get sunburned. Yeah, oh, of course. No, I am terrified of getting sunburned, so... I think it's time to switch it up a little bit, guys. Only one problem though, we're going snorkeling right now, and neither of us will have a GoPro. Alright, folks, welcome to DV no Little GoPro. Bay. This is our snorkel stop for the trip. For those of you so, with no GoPro, there wasn't really much we could film. Alright, so we just went snorkeling for a bit around uh, the back here, around these cliffs and it was beautiful. There's a sunken submarine and a sunken helicopter. But unfortunately, we didn't have a GoPro, so we couldn't film anything. G'day. Oh, here he is. Look at this guy. It's really hard to hold him. And how's the water? Good. It's so blue. It's so beautiful. It's like, it's like not too hot or not too cold. It's like the perfect temperature. The next stop was at a beach along the coast. Because we had to swim there, we couldn't bring our cameras. So we decided to enjoy the moment instead. Pink pool noodle. <laughs> like a glove. This is our man, Juriel. He was swimming over an esky full of beers for us to enjoy on the beach. He was one of the crew members on the boat and loved to dance more than I did. When we got back, we managed to catch up with Jarrell for a bit and ask him a few questions. How has the city you came from shaped your life? I was born on a neighboring island to St. Martin and I migrated here at a young age. So, here on the island, sometimes when you stay a little bit too long, you can get quite annoyed with it. Um, so, I have to travel out and come back. But now that I've been away for a number of years and then came back, I'm just tied to the ocean. Like, it's a done deal. Oh, we then really said our goodbyes and made our way back to the MSC yeah, ship yeah, yeah. and pack our bags. Really, really cool. Cheers, man. Thanks for that. Yeah, it was awesome meeting you, too. You're a really cool dude. But before our journey ended, there was still one more thing we needed to do. Hey this guys, is Kara and Nate, yeah, two on. other filmmakers who were taking over our spot on the ship. You guys must be super excited to start yeah. the journey. Wow. But um, this has been my baton for the majority of the trip, taking photos of my memories. And now I'm handing it on to you guys. Thank you. Very honored. We will try to do it proudly. <laughs> so, um, you're taking over from here on out, and I hope you enjoy your trip. Thank you. It's, it's amazing, you guys. So today our MSC adventure has come to an end, and right now I'm with Kara and Nate. What's up? It's the hours now. <laughs> yeah, we've just passed them on the Instax as the baton for the relay race across the ocean. So they're going to be taking over our cabin and our spot on the boat for the next two weeks. And Yay! We're yeah. Gonna do our best. Are you excited? Yeah, we're gonna do our best to follow in your footsteps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, it's gonna be interesting to watch their journey. We're sad to go home. We fly back to Melbourne, so it's gonna be a long flight. <laughs> yeah. We have three flights, right? I seven hours. Not in BU. <laughs> seven hours. Fifteen hours, and then sixteen hours. So. Uh, I'll think about you when I'm getting my massage. <laughs> <laughs> so best of luck, Karen. We hope you enjoy this trip. Thank Fantastic. You. And how?
how, how, how does the trip been, Ben? You gotta say something. <laughs> hey, I'm Ben. <laughs> <laughs> no, trip's been awesome, trip's been great. Alright, cool. Oh, I'm Bruno. Oh, she missed that. <laughs> Talk cool, talk cool. Yeah, yeah.